1 Timothy 6 verse 15 Jesus Christ, the all-sovereign King of Kings. So what is an ambassador? An ambassador is someone who comes from a different country to live in your country. And they still speak their native language, they dress in their native clothes, they represent their country. They still live according to their country's laws and rules because their king or their president is still their king or president, even though they are in a different country. So what does this mean for us as children of God? When we accept Jesus Christ as our king of all kings, then we represent him. And we are not of this world anymore. We are of God's kingdom. And how do we then know how to live according to God's kingdom? Because he gave us his word, the Bible, that teaches us how we are to live. And his Holy Spirit comes to reside and live inside of our hearts. That helps us and guides us and teaches us according to his ways. And this is how we are God's ambassadors within this world. Ah, and you are an ambassador of my country. 
Then you I shall teach you manners. Then you are going to go home. No. No. Can you believe this? You're the people. You're the people. No, you must have your lips in there. That is the right way, bitch. Wow, what a strange ambassador that was. Goodness, an upside down, back to front world? Wow. But you know what? While I was watching this crazy lady doing everything wrong way around <laughs> and giggling at the kids' response, that there are certain principles in God's kingdom that feels the wrong way around. Like loving your enemies and if you want to be great you need to be a servant of all his kingdom is right side up and that is how we are ambassadors of christ where we live according to what is on his heart in obedience and in love and serving him Next, we need the cacao okay? and a piece. <laughs> Four spoons in here, please. need to melt together in the pot. Three cups of oats. Ooh. While she's stirring, I'm going to measure um, half a cup of peanut butter, a teaspoon of vanilla, and half a cup of nuts, which we have already prepared. As soon as all the ingredients have mixed in well, you can spoon it out onto a tray or onto a baking dish and let it stand for 15 minutes. Wow! Okay, um, we just need this. Then it needs to cool. It's very hot. 
Okay, for what you're gonna burn. Nothing. I'm ready. They're not gonna burn now. You must have your nose in the pot. Come over here and look at my new songmobile. This is quite a contraption, Salty. What do you do with it? The songmobile helps me write music, Kenny. It's made of all kinds of musical instruments. Look at the back wheel. It's a big bass drum. Back here, the exhaust pipe is a clarinet. I can't believe it. The dashboard's a piano. Look at that tuba. Is that the trunk? I found a 
glockenspiel on the front. Can you show us how the songmobile works, Salty? Sure. We can drive over to the old church and have a sing-along there. Oh, I almost forgot. The songmobile is a lot of fun, but it has one little quirk. What's that? It'll only work when you're praising the Lord from your heart. A sunbeam is lighting up an old Bible on that stand. I'm going to play preacher. Oh. Oh. Congregation, please be seated. This morning is Texas from Mark 10, 34. Huh? Whoever will be great among you will be the servant of all. Servant of all? What does that mean, Salty? <laughs> it means, Preacher, that if we want to be someone great in the kingdom of God, we need to first learn to become servants of the Lord and servants to other people. I don't understand what you mean by serving the Lord and serving people. <laughs> That's simple. To serve the Lord, you give Him your whole self, your time, your talents, and your abilities to use for whatever God wants. You mean, you mean... I could give him my voice? Of course. I gave him my voice when I was just a <laughs> booklet. <laughs> and now he's using me to tell kids all over the world about Jesus. But what about the serving others part, Salty? Well, just take the love the Lord gives you and share it with the people around you. Let's use the songmobile. I'll oh, write yeah. a song about it. Oh, that'll be fun, yeah. If you want to be great, verse 9 to 10 says that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you will be saved for it is with your heart that you believe and are justified and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved this week we pray 
Numbers 6 verse 24 to 26 over each family. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.